Sam, I'm loving the sound of your upcoming album. Thank you and very much. I've loved your performances today. So tell us when is it going to be available your album? Cuz you're still finishing very it. Very good aren't question. You? Yes, yes, we're in the final stages now. So by ne- yes, next year, some point next year. Who can say for sure, but definitely 2016. Perfect. And you're just fresh off a tour with your other band, The Hoosiers, right Indeed. now. Yes, yes. yes. Um, and because you've just released an album with The Hoosiers as well. So you're a busy man. Busy, busy, busy. Living every second. Yeah, that was our yeah. fourth album. And we just did a three week tour up and down the UK. And I'm glad to be back. As if you didn't have a full enough schedule already. You've been doing some other really exciting little projects as well. Mm. I know you're about to go off to Mexico, Mexico. although that is for Sam Swallow. Yeah, kind of. That's uh, I'm going to do a performance with this orchestra called Aurora Orchestra, uh, who I've worked with before. They're fantastic, new-ish. They've been around, I'm reckoning, about 10 years now. But uh, forced to be reckoned with, uh, you know, very, very vibrant, exciting programmes, mixing lots of modern music and classical 20th century stuff mixed with tango. For example, the concert we're doing is called Jealous Guy. And so I'll be playing the John Lennon track uh, with the orchestra. And then there's be some tango dancing and a track of my own, rinse it out. The general theme, kind of tying it all together, is jealousy. So this, the tango dancing is all full of passion and wow. love and fire. And then my song is all about alcohol and a kind of passionate, fiery relationship with alcohol. I guess I've written a musical as well. Uh, myself and one of the chaps from the band, we've written a, a really cool musical. Actually, it's a modern day reworking of the Marriage of Figaro, uh, tentatively called the Marriage of Simon. Uh, <laughs> which I think is a great title. Brilliant! And we've written that with a, um, a good friend called Nat Segnet, who's a book writer, and uh, Kirsty Crawford. And so, yeah, we're just trying to get that on as well and squeeze as much out of these this short little bit of time we've got on the globe, really. Yeah, fabulous. And um, John Lennon, we mentioned, you mentioned John Lennon earlier because you are doing this One of my great idols. Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, tell us about the... Um, the film, yes. Oh. So a few years ago, there was a, a biopic called uh, Nowhere Boy, which was directed by Sam Taylor Wood. And I was very, very, very blessed to be uh, involved with the music of it. Uh, me and a bunch of the guys who uh, I, I often play with, we kind of recreated a lot of the early, very, very early Beatles recordings. And we worked with this great producer who had all these vintage microphones. We kind of crowded around one mic like this and tried to recreate the same studio conditions in one of the songs. Was that hard? Did you did you have to sort of... No, no, I think I just sang like as, as if it was me. It was really weird. We watched it at the cinema, though, and the, the, the actor who's playing George was, you know, opening his mouth, and my voice was coming out, and it was absolutely wow. hilarious. It was very, <laughs> very funny. Because it just sounded like me. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Well, that's all wonderful. And you've been working with Chrissy Hines as well. Chrissy Hines, indeed. Uh, known Chrissy for a few years Chrissy now. Hines. And again, was very lucky to be involved with her. Uh, an album I did with her and a bunch of my best mates... Just she's just so awesome and so inspiring, and she just opens her mouth and it sounds great. Even now, you know, her, she sounds the same as she did thirty years ago.